What's going on SLS? I'm Vince Jesus Full Nerd and as promised I'm bringing you all the training footage that I did with Chris Hill, my new trainer. You can find him on Instagram at Official Grind Time Fitness. He has a uh, Facebook as well, Chris Hill. I'll have all the links in the description below. He has me warming up with the 10 pound dumbbell, different movements to warm up the shoulders. As many as y'all may know, you have to use some form of shoulder movement when doing chest. He has me using 10 pound weights doing four sets of 12. During the footage, I'm gonna be leaving various comments on what I like about the routine, what I felt was very essential, or stuff that just overall helped me that maybe could help y'all as well. The first workout he has me doing is a, is a machine incline chest press. We started with one plate as a warm up, basically to get used to what we're doing. It's a new movement for me, the way that he was teaching me. What it is, you do five sets, slow negative reps. Start out high and then you come down real, real slow. You do that five times, then you knock out seven regular reps. We did this four different times, the first one being a warm up. Each time increase weight. The first increase was about 10 pounds, second increase was five pounds, the one after that was five pounds, and the one after that, I stayed at the same weight so I could be sure and get all the reps. This was my first time trying it like this with slow negatives. At first, I didn't think I would like it mainly because I'm used to knocking out the reps, feeling the contraction as I'm doing it, but for the most part, I've never actually done slow negative reps, and I liked it, I really did. I felt my chest extra super tight, especially because he had me flex the whole way down and the whole way up. I'm used to flexing on the way up, not on the way down. So if, if you're having a little bit of trouble with chest, try this out, you'll feel it all up in your chest, feeling all kinds of swollen. The next exercise I'm starting with is incline cables. I started with, I believe it was 40 or 45 pounds. The weight isn't really on the machine, so it's kind of hard to tell. And I got eight to 12 reps on that. <clears throat> As you can see in the video, I went down a little too far. On the next set, I was doing 55 pounds, which was too heavy at the time because I was trying to extend way too far and ended up hurting my shoulder a little bit. But Chris actually showed me a way that you don't go down all the way, otherwise you will hurt your shoulder. So we lowered the weight, went about, let's say about three fourths of the way from what I was going, no more shoulder pain. So if you have shoulder pain from doing any kind of dumbbells or cable movements, try it like that. Don't go all the way down like some people suggest. Go about partial way, three fourths of the way. So my three sets consisted of 45, 55, 50, and back up to 55 with a good 12 reps on the last set. This was another exercise that I have never really done before, mainly because I've always used dumbbells. I've never actually used cables. It was, um, it was a nice change. You could feel the, um, the tension the whole way through and you didn't really have to stabilize it too much like you have to, like you have to on dumbbells. The next exercise is one I'm very familiar with. It's dumbbell chest press. I normally start with this one second. He's having me do it third, which is, it's different for me. So we, we went ahead and tried it like this. Um, for this one, I started with 85. He wanted me to get eight to, eight to 10 reps only. So I thought, okay, well, let me try 85 real quick. I ended up getting 12 on 85. So we had to increase to 90 and then 95 after that. The one up next is decline bench. Now, I'll be the first to say I've only done this maybe once or twice ever in my entire life. It's just, it's something I've never really found, found interesting, I guess you would say, that I feel like all the blood is rushing to your head and you get kind of lightheaded. I've never done it with dumbbells before. I've always done it with bench press. So it's, it's a new movement, something completely new to me. But we went ahead and started with 45 pound weights. I ended up getting 12 on it. I did another set of 45 for 12 which was fairly easy so we went ahead and went up on weight to 50s as you can see in the video he had me twist my arms just a little bit and that little bit of twist made so much difference same thing to do with the other two exercises don't go all the way down on this you want to go just far enough to where you feel it and then back up that's going to be the last chest movement he has me doing only four chest movements and that's it he changes the routine up every week so what I'm doing today is going to be completely different next week and the week after and the week after. Pretty much I'm pretty much I'm not going to be doing the same routine about another month at least. His reason behind this is he believes in muscle confusion. Um, for those of y'all who don't know what muscle confusion is, I have a video on this discussing a little bit more. But it's basically to shock the muscles into doing something that you're not used to doing. When you do something over and over, your body gets used to it and it tends to not grow anymore. 
I'm guilty of doing that. I do the same routine over and over, changing up just a little bit. So I think that's a big reason why I really felt it in my chest this time is because I'm shocking the body. But I'll leave that for another video. We're gonna move on to, to triceps now. All right, so now by this time, my chest is all kinds of swollen. And like I mentioned, we're only doing four exercises for it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump it off to tricep movements. So to jump this off, we're gonna be doing the V-bar press downs. When you do these, there's the kind that have the padding and the kind without the padding behind you. Be sure and try and get the one with it behind you because you wanna have your whole body pressed against it. From head to toe, you wanna be stiff on it. You don't wanna lean forward, you don't wanna lean too far back or any of that. So you wanna have it stiff. Because when we do these, I didn't do it on the first two sets, but on the last two, he has me have, have my elbows in front of me. Have them directly in front of you and then pull down. You don't want to go too heavy. I, I was using 100 for 8 to 12 reps. I was hitting 12 on my first set. Then I knocked out 10. Then I went ahead and lowered the weight. That way I could really focus on the stretch and squeeze of it. I was using 90s and I was able to get 12, but a real good 12 versus 100, which I was barely getting maybe like 8 or 9 on the second set. And then on the very last one, he had me drop it down to 50 pounds and knock out 20 reps. Trust me, it felt easy at first on the first five, but after that, man, it started feeling all kinds of, of painful. Painful in a good way, not too bad. Painful like real nice and tight. We started off fairly light on this, mainly to get the hang of it. I started with 30 pounds, I got 12 reps on that, then we eventually moved up to 40 pounds. I got 12 reps on the second set, 12 reps on the third set, and on the fourth set is when I started having a little bit of trouble. I was able to knock out a good eight to 10 good reps and then the last two were kind of cheat reps. So I'm not even gonna count those two. This is gonna be the last exercise. We ended up doing body weight dips. When doing the body weight dips, he said to keep your head up. The first set, I had my head down, which was causing me to lean too far forward, which in return works more your chest and your triceps. It works your chest and your triceps, but also puts a lot of focus into your chest versus the tricep. So what he told me to do, have my head up, try and keep my body as stiff as I can. That way it works strictly just my tricep. The range of motion on this depends all on you. Some people are able to go down real low. Others aren't able to go down super low. It all comes down to what's comfortable, but don't go super, super low, but just go low enough to where you can feel it and then extend all the way upward on this. So this was my first time training with Chris Hill. As far as him actually training me, training me, I've trained with him before just working out and stuff, but you know, this is a whole different type of training now. He's actually tweaking my movements here and there and showing me some things that I didn't really understand before or that I didn't know of. Stuff that feels way better and his, his style of training. So my overall thoughts on it, it felt good. It felt really good. I will admit it seemed like I didn't do enough. I'm used to training a lot more higher volume, used to doing easily six exercises on just chest and then maybe six to eight on triceps. Okay, maybe not eight, but I'm used to doing like six exercises on triceps. So it was a nice little change. I felt, like I said, I, I felt real tight the whole time, a good tight. It was a little bit different. We weren't, we were still in there for about two hours roughly two hours maybe a little bit less so overall i mean it was a pretty good experience it's not my usual type of training but it was it was fairly similar to it i had a really good experience and i'm really looking forward to see what back day brings same with shoulders and legs as much as i hate saying it legs you know but but anyways i'm vince jesus swole nerd keeping it real keeping it chill and i hope y'all enjoyed the workout <laughs>